All right, what's up, Dragon Brew? Today we have a fun one. This is going to be a Zorius, but not, not the Zorius control. We're going to be playing creatures, artifacts, and going as fast as we can, as big as we can. And there's been versions of this going around that have all been very good, and people have done well with these in tournaments. So I'm assuming this is going to be good in our best of one games. So let's get into it. Novus Inspector. This thing seems to find its way into so many different decks, so it's not a surprise here because it does make an artifact and give us a body. We have four Warden of the Inner Sky because we're going to be able to just put tokens on it, make it fly, and honestly just scrying into some of the key cards could be important. There's only a couple of cases of the Felt Falcon, but it does make an artifact and later we can turn something into a 4-4 flyer, which you might need to do playing against some control type decks because there's a few of those floating around. Spyglass Siren makes another creature an artifact. There is one random destroy evil in here, and we'll see how it plays, because by the end of the video, I think we might want this to be another case of the Felt Falcon, but we'll see. Regal Bunnycorn. Nice. Like, we're going to have a bunch of permanents. Hopefully this gets really big. Has a couple of spring-loaded saw blades, which are okay, but it does give us more artifacts we can use for other things. Subterranean Schooner. This is just good in general. Survives a sweeper. It's a 3-4. It explores, so other stuff gets counters. Zoetic Glyph is going to get to be great with all these different artifacts we're going to have laying around. Steel Seraph, a really good card to have both early and late and can gain you some life in some of these problematic matchups against these aggro decks. And then surprisingly, there's four Mockingbirds. So it'll be interesting to see how this card works out because it's the first time I've actually played with this card and it seems like it's actually going to be pretty fun and we have a whole pile of things we could copy that could be a lot of interesting stuff going on here. And it's very cheap, and whatever you make also flies because it becomes a bird. So yeah, this will be fun. Now, as always, I implore you to watch as much of the video as possible because that helps out the channel. But at the end, when you're done with your viewing pleasure, I should say, we'll have a link. It'll take you over to Moxfield. You can download this deck and put it right into Arena so you can play it yourself as well. So yeah, let's go hop in and see if all these artifacts really do their thing. All right, this seems pretty par for the course. Nothing too surprising here. I think we just go... Warden into Schooner, and then we see what we do after that. And this hand's actually fine, because even if on turn three we have to just play, like, Anchorage Tap, that's fine. We still get a Bunny Corn, on, that's fine. So, like, lots of stuff we could do here. Opponent has a fun username and Fizzle Nuke. Alright, what do we got going here? I was going to say, something that makes two permanents would have been pretty sweet, too. All right, I guess we're attacking for one. I'm gonna go ahead and get the schooner down. And let's see what we got going on here. What I like about this is with so many decks playing like Liliana and things like that, like you have a lot of stuff that's kind of left over, if you will, to be able to still do things. Um, Do you want to kill my schooner? I feel like you do. So, here's what I'm going to do here. And this is just like, if they kill the schooner, they kill it. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Because it could just be like, better triumph or something here. I'm actually going to cheap out and just give lifelink to this. Now, if they just have go for the throat, they can't kill the schooner anyway. But I just figure we'll get something out of this. I don't think one point's going to matter greatly one way or the other. Could randomly be a braid or something, too. I mean, I still see that pop up. Okay, it was a bitter triumph. All right. So we do get that extra one point of life here. Cool, cool. So Brotherhood's in, maybe? I mean, that is another benefit, too. There's a lot of black decks running around, so you can end up with a lot of cards that survive uh, Brotherhoods in. I mean, not Brothers in, but go for the throat. Uh, what are we doing here? I mean, I could Bunny Corn and then copy Warden. I kind of hate that. That feels a little weak, but I'm going to do it anyway. Actually, am I? Because I can just give this... Eh, eh. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to give this... Vigilance. Attack for three. And then I'm just going to take my time. Let's end the turn. 
Because we could possibly copy a Seraph. We could do some stuff with the uh, Cruel Claw if we want to copy that with the Mockingbird. Who knows? Maybe they play a Shieldred here and we get to copy a Shieldred, you know? I also would hate for them to play something random, some type of sweeper, and just lose everything. It'd be kind of tough. Where at least now, we have blockers to make sure they don't get to Cruel Claw, cruel claw anything crazy. Which, yeah, we just block like this, knowing the odds are pretty... Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. You get to kill both of my 3-3s, three effectively. Because I'm assuming they have at least one removal spell. Yep, that makes sense. Alright, well, that's something. Not really what I was anticipating, but uh, under the circumstances, let's make another bunny corn. And let's attack. Opponents at nine. I played a version of that Cruel Claw deck uh, a couple weeks ago, so I kind of have a feel for it. We also get a creature land. All right. If this gets to attack, it's going to pump the bunny corn, so I'm assuming if they have a cut down. Though if they had a cut down, they probably would have got the warden a while ago. I mean, at this point, you got to kill a bunny corn, right? Yeah, I was going to say, that's not even really a choice. All right, opponent's at three, and we'll go ahead and use this, targeting a land. We did not find a way to pump it up. So if they do get rid of the board here, we're only attacking for two next turn. Oh, they killed our non-flying uh, bunny corn. They didn't kill our flying one, our, our bird bunny corn. I think that's what they're realizing. Yeah, because now we have two flyers. Oh, well, they have to go to two anyway, so it didn't really matter. Oh, not true, because they had a deep cavern bat. So they're still alive. That's funny. I mean, we don't have a choice, but they're definitely not dead, which is hilarious. All right, well, I mean, no point attacking with the warden, obviously. All right, so they'll be at one. One is not dead, unfortunately. All right, come on, no more lands. Oh, gosh, why? Why? Oh, this is so bad. Almost anything would have been better than a land there. Oh, well, can they deal with two flyers? All right, another geological appraiser. And they found a go for the throat. So do they have... Oh, yeah, do you have anything in hand to kill our land? If so, nope, they don't. We get one. All right, let's keep it. I mean, I'd like some things, a few more things that make some artifacts would be nice. There you go. That's what we're looking for. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and Spyglass Siren first. Because more likely they'll make a ground base blocker, and we'd rather have that. The next turn we could also double Warden if we want to and grow a Warden, or we could Schooner and Warden and grow a Warden. Either way. Actually, you no, know, we can't Schooner and Warden. I'd be a mana short. That's silly. That wouldn't work at all. Okay. I think we go Warden. Warden. Uh, attack with this. And then tap all of these to one of the Wardens. Spring-loaded saw blades. Is that going to help us in this fight? I guess it doesn't hurt us to have it. All right, so we did get to save the one, so that's that's important. 
All right, let's turn this into a thing and get in there, y'all, for seven. All right. Glissa. All right, well, turns out we're going to get to use these saw blades after all. Let's go ahead and play this. And pass the turn. Oh, so Arena should uh, tap Merrick, that would have saved me a point of life here. Frill back, no! Well, that's all right. They're going to get our schooner, and we have another schooner, so that's actually fine. At least I assume that's what they're going to do. Yep, you got it. Come on, I need you to attack with the Glissa, opponent. Otherwise, these saw blades ain't going to do nothing. There you go. Thank you. Needed them to cooperate. Oh, well, that's a thing, I guess. Let's tap this for Colas and this. And we'll attack with this. All right, they're blocking. And I think we go ahead and scry up here. Bunny corn. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Like, not the craziest thing, but, you know. We get it for free if they kill the 5 4 here. So that'd be awesome. We'd just be exchanging and upgrading. <laughs> that wouldn't be terrible. Uh, all right, you left mana up. What are you doing here? I am going to probably do nothing. I'm probably just going to attack. I mean, you've got a removal card or something, right? Like, there's no way they're just not doing anything here. That would be crazy. Okay, Terra Sunder works. Though, if you're going to do that, you're better off Terra Sundering the Zoetic Glyph, right? So it wouldn't go to the graveyard. At least I would think. Alright, so they're going to take three. We can make a token. Maybe that's what I should have done. Yeah, that was a mistake. I could have made the token and attacked with the scooter. It would have been smarter. And we're going to split the difference here on these duders. We do not need more land. All right. So yeah, I could have got at least three more points in there, possibly four. Actually, no, I had a land on top, So, but I would have drawn the land. But the opponent would be at five had I attacked with everything. All right, there's a deadly cover-up. Which tracks... See, the difference of them being at 5, then attacking for 3, and then being at 8, I mean, at 2, 3, make, I'm doing bad math all over the place. But you know what I'm saying. They'd have been at a lot less life down. It would have been a big difference here. Alright. Well, sadly, that was just a land. Sure, you got it. Fortunately, if their plan is to fight things, we don't have great things for them to fight, so. This works out okay. Um. I guess we just attack with Schooner here and set up to make another 1 1, I think. Uh. That's fine. Yeah, they're blocking. Play this instead. I'm just going to do this. Because at this point, I figure even if they have a sweeper, we don't care that much. I thought about just waiting and making the 1-1, one, one, but I'm just like, eh, this is a bigger body. We know we're getting two permanents coming off the top. We get to attack with the creature land, the 2-2, two, two, what's going to be the 6-6, six, six, and the schooner. So it's just like, yeah, this is fine. some point, you just gotta put them to the t Oh, they're dead now. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, they do get to gain four. So, I mean, I guess it's not dead dead. You know, they are, because we attack with this too, right? Yeah. And they have to block the bunny corn. Okay, so they're, they're at a couple of points of life, right? No, because they still take seven. Never mind. Don't even need that. Yep. Okay, cool. We got it. Ooh, I think we still keep this. But this double mockingbird situation is kind of interesting. Please don't kill my spyglass siren. It'll make me very, very sad. Oh, well, I guess we're losing a schooner. I mean, literally take the schooner opponent. Our hand's kind of bad. <laughs> like, no, they're taking a mockingbird. Okay, well, I will gladly take a schooner and just attack. I mean, you're not going to give me the mockingbird right back. Though maybe their concern is we would copy it with a deep cavern bat. I could see that being a thing. Oh, now this gets interesting. We didn't get the white mana. But we do have flyers. We can't copy a preacher yet, but maybe next turn. Do we just go case and call it good? Seems kind of bad, but... Alright, just pass, I guess. There's a world where I could have copied the Siren and then considering, like, double-blocking Preacher, but that felt kind of bad. I need to draw land here. Or maybe this just turns into a real weird racing situation, right? All right, you get a 1-1. One, one. No, they get a card because they're ahead on life. Oh, no, they're going to get rid of our case. I, You know what? I feel so vindicated that everybody's playing Terra Sunder now. Because I feel like so many people slept on that card for so long. And now with all the Golgari decks floating around, people are coming around to the card. All right, let's go ahead and draw. You know, there are worse cards we could have got there. Oh, dang it. Oh, that's so good. Um, all right. Hope they don't have another deep cavern bat. That's that's the game plan right now. Uh, man, this is tough because we do need more land at some point. But, ah, that card's good here too. I think I'm going to let it go because we really are in need of land at this point particularly a white land would would be huge oh no man what were the odds gosh damn it uh, and I almost mockingbirded just to take their Cat, deep camera. They could have also drawn it there. Who knows? But yeah, that's just bad luck. I swear, y'all on this channel, y'all know I get opponents who get oh, that double bat more than anything. Like, it's, it's terrible. I don't know how it's even possible, but it definitely happens. Untap white land? Nope, just another schooner. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. We didn't get a second white mana, and our opponent just double batted us. Yeah, all right. I'm pretty sure the opponent's got this at this point. But we'll still play on, see what we could do. I mean, yeah, might as well block the 1-1, one -one, right?
All right, another preacher. Also, if we just got any land and just been able to copy a preacher would have been good enough a while ago. Now I don't know if it is. Um, I guess we still have to do it, right? I mean, if they have another removal card, then it doesn't even matter after a point. We just say, all right, you got us. All right, I'm going to get rid of this with the hopes that maybe we can draw another untapped white source. Uh, if we take four here, is there any chance we live? Oh, I did this wrong. I could have actually activated this. Oh, that was stupid. All right. I'm just playing terrible at this. We just got so far behind not being able to play anything. We have the cheap creature, the cheap spell deck, and we couldn't play more than one land a turn in a lot of cases. Yeah. Or more than one spell a turn. Yeah, it's not going to cut it. Best we could do... I mean, we're not dead. And if we attack, we do get a 1-1 one -one here. So that counts for something. We wouldn't be able to kill the preacher outright, but we could block it with a 5-4. I mean, all right. Worst things have happened. We've at least assembled some blockers. Whether they're good or not, a whole different story here, but we'll see. Sure. You got it. More cards for you, friend. And Glisso. Why not? <laughs> Just stack it all up. Now, there is a real thing here. They are going to lose some life and go to seven to draw these cards. So it's not like this is nothing. All right. So do I want to really kill... The three, four. I think so. So we block here. We block here. Can we get away taking... I guess we just go ahead and block, right? And hope we get something great off of this Zoetic Glyph hit. No! I guess we'll put it in hand. We could copy a... Oh, I was going to say a Glissa, but maybe there's other plans here. Man, we are struggling to hang on here. All right, attack. Which does make a blocker. We'll play a bunny corn. We'll copy Spyglass Siren. All right. Not 100% sure how we're still playing Magic right now, but we are. And this time, if we have any chance of winning, it's been on the back of these uh, Mockingbirds, actually. I wanted to copy Glissa, but I felt like that didn't leave us enough options. All right, that gets cut down. That's fine. The problem is they also get to make some life linkers when they attack, so it's like a weird situation. All right, so they get a 1-1 one -one this time. I mean, attack with Glissa, I'm blocking with a 1-2. I mean, just is what it is. <laughs> like, just saying. All right, block Glissa, block this thing. Okay. We're at least somewhat stable here. And we get a card for the first time in these exchanges. Which is big here. 
All right, they're finally blocking. So now this puts me to the test because do I just want the Steel Seraph or do I want to copy like a Glissa? I think, man, we're at five. Oh man, I, I need a second, y'all. Like, <laughs> so they can attack with their creature land. We could block. I mean, if they kill Glissa, attack, we chump block, we're dead anyway, because we're at five, right? We play copy the siren. That doesn't do anything for us. We could copy a deep cavern bat, I guess. And that gives us life. All right, let's do that. Oh, and they have a bat and a preacher. Yeesh. All right. I guess we take their bat. And, all right, they're going to have one flyer left. I think we're still dead, right? Because they activate the land. We block, block. Take four, five, six, seven. Uh, I guess we could potentially. Yeah, I think we're just dead. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. We, we tried to make a comeback, but this just didn't work out. Opponent just needs to activate their land and attack, and we're dead. Yeah, all right, cool. We can move on. <laughs> all right, let's keep it. We're just going to do what it do. Attack. All right, now the plan is draw one mana thing so we can play that alongside a bunny corn. All right, well, Go Thorf though won't have a lot of options here, so it kind of makes sense. And we'll crew with the Spyglass Siren because if they have a removal card, it's coming for the bunny corn. We already know that. Excellent. We'll keep that. In the turn. Oh, is it a cut down and a hard removal? Oh, no. That would be unpleasant. Nope. It's just one hard removal for with the gopher throw. That works. I mean, we all knew what was on top of the library, so not a huge surprise there. See if we can get some more damage in here. Another Mockingbird. Sure. Why not? And then we crew and attack for a lot. All right. End the turn. Oh, I've been playing this all wrong. If I just want to copy one of our things, it's just one blue. With mana value less than equal to the amount spent, not equal to X. Ugh, that's so stupid. Uh, four, five, six, seven. All right, so in theory, this should work by just paying zero, right? And then copy this, yeah. So I just did that wrong on previous turns. I had more mana. I probably could have done more in that last game. All right. Spell on top is all we needed. So now we have lethal, right? Because we do it again for zero. And then we know what's on top of the library. So we just do that. I don't need it after that. And then we attack. And that's nine. Whoo. Yeah, we'll take that. All right. Good clean win against Mono Black. Yeah, I can't really complain there where it's just kill, kill, kill. And somehow we still win with creatures. Also, just being able to play these Mockingbirds for just one blue each 
was really the reason we were able to just do that and have lethal there. So that actually worked out really nicely. Let's keep it. Uh, yeah, we'll just play this. And we'll see if the opponent has a way to kill a warden right off the bat. Hey, no damage against Mono Red on turn one. Love that. However, we're going to give some damage to ourselves. So let's go ahead and do this. And do this. And with this, we'll tap, tap, tap. That's probably not any good in this fight. And what's the best they're going to do? They rage. They'll have four toughness. So, yeah, it doesn't do us any good to block there. All right. Okay, hey, we'll take that, actually. That's nowhere near the worst thing that could have happened. Yeah, that's fine. I feel like being at 16 in this scenario, totally reasonable. I'm only going to attack with these just so on the off chance they play something else, I can at least block something. Yep, Heartfire Hero, you got it. We are A-OK -okay now. Sure. Oh, that's good, too, for later. Oh, we can't play this guy yet, though. Oh, no! It's all right. We can use this, though, which is reasonable. Uh, they're at 12. We're going to use the spring-loaded saw blades on something. You know what? Yeah, let's attack. I mean, they got three cards. This is one of those ones, like, if they just get us, they get us. I don't care that much. Oh, wait, you're really going to give us both? Cre oh, their hand must be bad. We get to kill both of these and get to replace it? Love that against Mono Red, let me tell you. Hmm, put Mockingbird in hand. And I can copy an Inspector here if we want to. Which I think we do, actually. Could have copied their Scoundrel, but I think this is fine. Like, if they come with some hasty thing, exactly. I was like, in case they come with some hasty thing, the spring-loaded saw blade still works. So now I think we're in good shape. Take one is much better than taking three here. All right. Now the question is, do we go ahead and... You know, I'm just going to do this. They're, they're basically out of cards here, right? And then we'll give one of these lifelink, because every point matters. And we're attacking. All right, end the turn. Demonic Ruckus. You got it. Alright, I'm going to draw a card. And... What are we doing here? Whoop, 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 whoop. Let's cancel that. Now we just play this for full costs, and that's going to do it. Because now we're just gaining enough life, they can't do anything about it, right? Give that lifelink, give this lifelink. I guess you do. Oh, I guess you get flying. Yeah. And then that one gets lifelink. Attack, attack. So now we're back up to 15. And yeah. Okay, we'll take it. Yeah, another thing I was looking at doing was just paying the four and flipping this. And then just crewing it up. And attacking with this and this and just give this lifelink instead of actually playing the Steel Seraph. So we had a few options, honestly, to kind of get toward where we can put this one away. We 
go first. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm going to go with this. Mostly because if there's a cut down, maybe they use it. We don't... I mean, we'd like to get some use off of our warden. Alright, looks like we're going to get that anyway. Land. Uh, sure. I'll at least take one more. You know, I could Mockingbird another warden here. Actually, no. I'm going to Mockingbird an inspector. So that way, I have another artifact, and I just go back-to-back -back turns on Zoetic Glyphs, which is probably good enough in this fight. Against nearly black anything is probably... Unless I go, like, turn three Glissa, then it kind of sucks. But if so, we'll just have to find a way to deal with it. All right, getting in there for seven. What you want to do, opponent? You know, if it's just Liliana, we're sacking a one, two. I'll tell you that right now. If it's Preacher, we're just running into it. <laughs> like, we just don't even care. Alright, that's a nuisance, but uh, doesn't make or break anything. Oh, that's actually fantastic. Let me just play this so we have more follow-up. So we have a flyer next turn no matter what. And that's gonna do it. Pretty sure there's zero outs in this scenario. Yeah, Liliana's not gonna cut it. No more distractions. Yep. Ah, one of your friends has to there leave. we go. Man, we sadly didn't even get to see what it turns into. Uh, wasn't gonna be that, because that's too expensive. But, yeah. That's a good, solid game. And opponent killed off three things. But, man, Zoetic Glyph sometimes is just huge. All on its own. Oh, the opponent's username is great. The Aqua Duck. <laughs> I'll keep this and see if we find something off the top. But truly, that is kind of funny. That they, they are just the Aqua Duck. Kind of, in a weird way, a little surprising we didn't get one of those uh, in this set. How punished are we going to get for keeping a slow hand here? I have a feeling it's going to be very punished. What if I got a Burrow Guard Mentor? Is that good enough to do anything? Uh, well, maybe it is. We're going to take a lot of damage next turn. I only need it to be two, actually. Keep forgetting that. All right. So we'll copy a Mentor. And we'll play this. All right, and then we'll pass. Actually, all right, I'm gambling a little bit here. Ah, didn't work. I was hoping that got at least one counter. Oh. I feel like I could get punished real bad here. For getting greedy. Okay, the plus side, it looks like they don't have anything else to play. So that's good. Those both trample, so we just gotta eat it. Alright. If we... Glyph... This... That grows that. We play this. That grows this. Alright. We can... Crew here. I feel like I'm still setting myself up to potentially die next turn, but whatever. Gotta risk it for the biscuit, right? Okay, opponent's at eight. I mean, maybe we could still do a thing. Oh, why did I leave this on top? We're not going to get, because I have to block with the glyph here anyway. Yep. 
Am I going to lose exactly enough to die here? Oh, no, they gave him plus one instead of making tokens. <gasps> oh, if they'd have made tokens, we'd have been in more trouble because that would have got a plus one. That would have trampled for an extra one, and that would have gotten plus two. Uh, I guess it would have been close to the same. They're actually going to be net one more, actually. All right, I guess that's not the worst thing. All right, let's block here, I think. And take seven. All right. Oh, that's great. All right, take our turn. All right, now what do we do with this Mockingbird? We could copy a Warden. And then opponent blocks. Yeah, I think we copy the Warden, right? One, two, three, four. Oh, again, we only need it to be exactly four, so we go one, two, three. I got to get in that habit. It's weirdly worded that it's not X, it's how much is spent on it, which is so weird. All right, then we'll tap this. Then we'll attack. And then we'll give everything plus one. We did it, team. Woo! <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. That started out very dangerous. Because if they'd have had another creature on that, like, third turn, we would have been in a much worse situation having to block. Being able to copy their Burgard Mentor, though, and being able to come over the top, pretty good stuff. It's so, like, yeah. Ooh, man, rabbits, rabbits. We, we have a Naya rabbit list we put up a couple days ago. Like, it was really good. Y'all may want to check that out. Yeah, y'all, so Azorius Artifact Aggro. AAA is the real deal. Um, I'm still torn a little bit on, like, the spring-loaded saw blades. They're good, don't get me wrong. And they're great to have even after sweepers. So I wouldn't get rid of them, but I would like to have something else here in this spot. The thing I will say, though, about Destroy Evil is sometimes something like Temporary Lockdown is going to hurt this deck a lot. So cool. It at least gives us something we can do. There also is a weird thing on a budget that if you were going to play, I'm not saying you should necessarily do this, but if you were tight on a budget and you didn't have some cards, Caretaker's Talent could work in here. We have enough things like Case of the Filch Falcon, Spyglass Siren. So, uh, what you called? The, oh no, well, those are the main ones making tokens, right? Yeah, so maybe we don't have that many tokens. I was thinking we had another one. Never mind, forget I ever even said that. <laughs> like, you would need at least another four things making tokens to make that worth it. So yeah, really, you're kind of just up against it a little bit. Um, but you know, I think that's just the trade-off here. Steel Seraph was actually surprisingly good. So was Mockingbird. And half the time we copied our own stuff, half the time we're copying the opponent's stuff. So I don't mind that at all, honestly. Like, it's a cool little card. This is probably the best, if you want to call it a Mockingbird deck, that we've seen so far. The card's just really good. But again, I think the reminder for everybody is you're not copying for X, you're copying for how much mana you spent on it. So if it is a two mana thing you just have to pay one blue and one and that's two total it's got a weird wording and it's the only card i can think of that's worded like that so just something to be aware of i i definitely had an opportunity in one game i think in that golgari game had i remembered that i could have saved mana and got an extra spell or two in that probably could have turned that game around for me to win as close as that was there at the end so just something to think about, that those one or two mana make all the difference sometimes. But yeah, this list, if you want to download it, super sweet. Uh, four Novus Inspector, four Warden of the Sky, two Case of the Filch Falcon, four Spyglass Siren, one Destroy Evil, four Regal Bunny Corn, three Spring Loaded Saw Blades, three Subterranean Schooner, four Zoetic Glyph, four Steel Seraph, four Mockingbird, five Plains, five Islands, four Attiker Waste, three Restless Anchorage, four Seachrome Coast, and two Merix. And this is like the most popular version of this going around. So, yeah, you've probably seen it before. But if you haven't, this is actually pretty cool. Also, if you're looking for other sweet decks, we just got through playing a Just Guy Super Friends list that was really cool and wasn't boring for being a Planeswalker control deck. So you may want to check that out. But that's all of you for now. We'll see you next time.